Hello everyone, this is Sancho Collector here with another action figure review, and here I have another G.I. Joe Classified Series figure, uh, Flint. So let's go over to packaging here. So we get that cider of Flint there, looks pretty good. And then here's another picture of him aiming down the sight. It's pretty cool. You get the G.I. Joe Classified Series uh, logo there with Flint. It's the 26th figure in the wave, J. Joe symbol. I meant lo logo there with all these symbols right here down the side, like ammo, um, star, chest piece, and ranking. We've seen this picture in the back of the other ones before with all the characters. Uh, top, you get that J. Joe star there, and then 26 bomb with the DCBI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here he is out of the packaging here. So let's go over the accessories. So first, we get a little pistol here. So focus, focus, there we go. So yeah, it's a regular old pistol. Um, well, not like a real looking pistol, but still. Um, all this is basically just uh, like a very dark gray paint. Um, mold looks pretty good. So no mess ups there. And then you get this little pump shotgun here, tactical shotgun. So you get the like bullet shells here on the side and where you keep your shells. The mold looks good. The pump piece here is brown. You get the muzzle, there's a little bit of brown there. Miss paint. Um, and I like the mold for the shotgun, it looks pretty cool. I wish they added red for this area probably. That would have been pretty cool to be honest. But besides that, pretty cool looking mold for a shotgun or sculpt and it also has that little uh plug in there if you want to have one of those blast effects you can just put it in there so that's it for the shotgun and then he comes with this little hat that's soft plastic so you all i think we've seen this hat before with one of the other figures and all they did was repaint this piece here with a symbol that has like swords and colored it red so yeah soft plastic here and I'll show you how to put that on his head here. So you just want to wrap it around his head there and then boom, that's what it looks like. But besides that, that's all we got for accessories. So let's go over your figure. So you get that scar across his eye there. You get the brown eyes, eyebrows look good. You get the wavy hair with the fade. So that's pretty cool. Um, they did a really good job on the face. It looks realistic. I wouldn't say it looks quite as close as it does to the picture here i don't think it does have that scar there but i don't think it looks quite that close to the figure but eh, it's all well um so yeah face sculpt looks pretty good um besides not accuracy but um you get this vest here you get some green uh camouflage looking green you get uh, gray for the padding here and then uh, you get more shotgun shells down the strap here and there black shells with the gold I forgot what you call them um, and then we've get, been getting these uh, little uh, devices here with all the figures uh, that have that blue light there and it's gray around it um, the vest goes around the back you get some gray padding here you get this like little Holder here for his shotgun, um, so that's pretty good. Um, you get some more pouches on the sides there. You get a belt here that holds, looks like those are grenades. You get another uh, pouch there, some more like bullets it looks like. Gray buckle, gold buckle there, looks like a star kinda. And then brown belt, you get some camouflage pants that look pretty good. Uh, you get more pouches for the pockets. Great knee pads, looks good. Camouflage keeps going down the pants and you get the brown boots, which actually look pretty good for looking like leather boots. Gray shin guards and gray for treads. So that's pretty good, eh, pretty cool, I mean. Eh. Um, and then you get the black shirt here with some lining there. And then you get the brown gloves, completely browned out with some guard and knuckle guards there and some wrist watch looking sculpt there. Oh, here's the wrist watch there. And I think that's glued onto his arm. There's a little bit of a scuff there on his arm, but besides that, looks pretty good. So let's go over the articulation. So he has a, a 
hinge at the head that only goes down that far up just a little bit and he also has a ball joint for the neck so you can get down that far up just that far you can look left and right uh some neck and head pivoting there um your shoulders can move out past 90 degrees 360 rotation butterfly joints that don't want to move a whole lot there uh, bicep swivel double jointed elbows still peg holes for the elbows uh, his wrist this wrist wants to go side to side so down that far only up that far 360 rotation same uh, this other hand wants to go up and down the right way so down that far up that far 360 rotation there um i think there's an ab joint there in there but it won't move because of how tight the vest is on him but there is a ball joint in there so still not a whole lot of movement forward backwards not a whole lot either you can do 360 swivel around it though oh i think it got caught oh yeah got caught on this um not a whole lot of pivoting through there i mean that's mainly because of the legs that's why it's looks like it's pivoting a lot but his head's that's not pivoting at the hips um he has the drop down hips here so you can kick out that far forward that far looks good backwards quite a bit thigh cut double joints and knees almost butt kick uh boot swivel ankles can hinge down that far up that far nice ankle pivot and then for the shotgun you just kind of want to just put it in like that kind of boom like that and then yeah oh yeah one more thing that i forgot to mention he has a holster right there for his pistol so you could just throw that in there and then basically you used up all your accessories from just like that but yeah that's all i got for the figure looks I, I recommend getting them because people have been having a hard time finding him uh flint and lady j um i found mine at target uh that's where everyone's been finding their figures and stuff like that um but i recommend getting them paint job looks pretty good there's some scuffs here and there but i think that's because of like roughness um and um but besides that sculpt paint looks good uh articulation is okay i mean the only problem that i have is the ab joint area but that's because of the vest there um but besides that i recommend getting it like i said <laughs> um but um if you haven't already check out my twitch i try streaming every night when i can if i think it's interesting enough for people to watch it, i guess um after after i'm done with the semester expect more videos frequently because i'll have more time to do videos uh, in gaming, I've been really busy with work and school lately, so I'm doing my best to keep content coming. But right now, I've been focused on action figures for YouTube right now. Um, but soon, I'm going to do drawing. I'm going to do more gaming videos for sure, especially with Resident Evil Village coming out soon. I need to finish up Little Nightmares 2. Um, we're also getting more DLCs for Avengers, um, and I'll do some uh, videos of my 3D printing. I'll be moving soon, for sure, uh, so I'll do vlogs over that and how I'm going to do my setup and stuff like that there. Um, but besides that, um, that's all I got. Make sure you check out my Twitch, like I said, the Hunter Collector, um, and that's all I got.